Hey guys, it's Deezer HD with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that curved studio effect that I showed you in the last uh, Espresso tutorial on how to build a softbox. So um, let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is go into Cinema 4D. So I've got it here, and uh, this is what we're going to be creating: is this type of a uh, studio look. As you can see, we've got a nice curved studio. I won't teach you how to make uh, the spotlights, but if you want to learn how to make one, just put it in the comments, and I'll uh, make a tutorial for you. So uh, we've got the. I've taught you how to make this soft box already, so that's cool. So uh, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is um, create a new. Uh, scene here and let's just quickly do our render settings so let's just put it in 720 so 1280 by uh, 720 put it in full HD we'll just leave it on current frame for now um, and all the rest you can basically just leave maybe you want to put the anti-alias into best 2x2 two two. so that's all good there and uh, that's our render settings done just for now uh, the first thing you want to do is go into the squiggly freehand spline tool, which is this one here next to the cube. And uh, you want to get a, a rectangle. There we go. And you want to make it uh, click here to round it off. As you can see, we've got some, the corners do round off a little bit. When you render it, you won't see it yet. So uh, we've got a bit more to do. That's not just it. So uh, we can maybe bump up the radius a little bit just to give it a bit more of a curve look. As you can see, we can change it. So let's get a nice, about 100 looks good for me. Um, maybe make it a little bit bigger, maybe 800 via 800. So that's cool. Maybe give it a bit more rounding as we've uh, changed the size. There, that looks good. Uh, then you want to hit uh, this button here, the point selection tool, which is there, and hit C on your keyboard to make this editable. Now as you can see if we delete say this point we can see it's joined up. So the first thing you want to do before you start deleting points is uh, this close spline here. You can see it's ticked. If we untick that and then we can delete parts of it off. So I'm going to delete this point first. Actually let's delete this point sorry. There we go and I can see we've got that bit and then maybe this point here. And you can see we've got basic studio kind of look here. Um, maybe grab this point here if you wanted it a bit longer just uh, drag that point out a bit so it's a nice and maybe drag this one back a little bit. There we go. And then you want to click the rectangle that we've made and we just uh, click this tool here the model selection tool or face selection. Well, I don't actually know, really know. That's the face selection thing there so we'll just select this tool here and you want to hit Command C V or Control C V, and uh, drag one this way a little bit, and the other one this way a little bit. Maybe just uh, give it a nice stretched out look. Then you want to go into Loft Nerbs again, which is in this Nerbs tab up here, and you can see uh, Loft Nerbs here. And we're just going to drag both rectangles into the Loft Nerbs, and then we, you can see we've got a nice studio look here. Now you're going to select the uh, Loft Nerbs here. Um, and maybe we could just uh, go into the front view here, just zoom out a little bit, and we can see uh, the red line is where the floor is, and we don't want half of it below the floor, as you can see here. So um, we're just going to make sure we're on this tool here, and we've selected the loft nerves, and we can just drag it up. So it's nicely in line with the floor. There we go. And. Uh, just move around it a little bit and uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create a material for it so you want to double click down here into the materials that will create a new material for you and uh, we're going to cl double click the material and we're just going to call this a uh, studio material something like that and um, you can put a bit of reflection on if you want I personally don't think it looks very good but it's up to you we can just go into the color section here um, go on texture and gradient and you can see we've got the gradient here, if we click gradient we go into the settings and uh, we can change the colours and that but we're going to put it on 2DV so we can see the gradient goes down and I like a white at the bottom 
and maybe a slightly uh, bluey grey kind of colour for the top. Maybe that's a little bit too bluey. Just move it this way. It's only very subtle. You don't want uh, anything like this. This would look terrible on a studio that doesn't give a very nice effect. So just make it really subtle. You can see we've got a little bit of grey, a little bit of blue in there. You can see, we can hardly even see it. Maybe just a bit more blue. Yeah, that looks really nice. And uh, click the X, and we can just apply this onto our studio. There we go. Now, if we just uh, just zoom in or like this, and this will get the uh, capture shadows as well. And we can see now when we render, because we haven't got a light, we've got a shadow coming from this bit here, this uh, ledge here. So if you want to change that, you want to click rectangle and hold shift and the other one go into our point selection tool and we can uh, just move it up this way a bit and we can just move these points in a little bit just maybe if you don't even want that you can uh, just hit delete and you can just see we've got a nice little curve on the top but adding uh, lights and stuff does help to reduce the shadow which was down here because the default light just is uh, like an infinite light so uh, probably still have a bit of a shadow but as you can see if we added a say if I go into my uh, content browser over here presets uh, say if I just added a, a softbox with overhead softbox here we go just drag that into my scene and uh, if I just drag it up and sideways a little bit maybe give it a bit of rotation you 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 won't have this yet as I'm still working on the light kit and uh, Hopefully for 300 subs I may be doing a material pack giveaway, so we'll see. Not sure if it's for definite yet, because I've got a lot of school work and it takes quite a lot of time. So there we go, we can now uh, zoom back in and uh, just check if all the lighting is alright. This is a really rough zoom. As you can see, look, we've got a really nice studio grading effect, where it looks like we've got no background, especially if you zoom right in and go down to the floor and stuff it just looks really nice it's really good to use in um, maybe the more standstill images rather than motion design because as you can see with the area shadows and the gradient it takes uh, quite a while to render just the background itself so uh, that line that you saw just there you can change that by uh, just increasing the curve of your rectangle at the start so depending on the curve that's how sharp your line will be so thank you very much for watching guys and uh, just let me know what you want for the next tutorial and if you want it to be a spotlight look if you want me to show you how to build a spotlight and uh, control that with Expresso or just let me know at all or how to build cool materials just let me know in the comments below uh, please like this video if you liked it and if you like it even more just favorite it and um, I'm trying to sort out my render settings for ScreenFlow as well. So I'm sorry if they don't look that good, but the other video I had to, it was 5 gigabytes and I've got a rubbish uh, TalkTalk -talk connection and it would have taken a very long time to uh, upload to YouTube. So I had to compress it down, which did reduce the quality. And I'm sorry about that, guys, but I'm not waiting for hours and hours and hours for a 1080p video to go up. So uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad and hopefully this one won't be either. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.